the 700 km Nile Basin Development Forum walk has been flagged off from Ereko border post where the Nile exits Uganda to South Sudan, Sudan and Egypt. Thank you. On behalf of all the workers, lead the walk safely. The trail will snake through 13 districts that are crossed by the Nile in Uganda. A more resident district commissioner, Odong Latele, appeals to communities along the route to offer moral support to the workers. Just because you cannot walk with us does not show you are not with us to protect the Nile and the environment. This walking we are doing today and the time ahead is to create awareness about the Nile and the environment so that we can restore our environment to where it was before. And my only humble appeal is please support the team walking. He, in particular, started off the trek as a morale booster for the first three kilometers. <laughs> Uganda being the source of the Nile, we are looking at uh, these member countries bringing together funds to, 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 to build damages, climate change damages and loss. Uh, for example, there are, there are, there's a need to plant trees along all these districts so that River Nile can be conserved for the next generation. River Nile, like any other natural resource, is under immense pressure due to population growth, urbanization and or industrialization and these are feared to grow by twofold in the next 10 years. There are countries that are trying to exploit this resource unilaterally without involving the other partners. So we need to cooperate as basin states to ensure that we agree on how we can develop these resources. There are some areas where we cannot develop unless we come together. A case in point is uh, areas where we can do irrigation or construct dams just at the border. So two countries have to come together to ensure that they agree on how to develop this dam, how they're going to share the water or the energy that is coming from the dam. A case in point is the Rusumo hydropower facility that was constructed between Rwanda and Tanzania and the power is going to be um, consumed by both Kenya, by Tanzania, uh, Rwanda as well as Burundi. The walk is one of the cutting raising activities for the forthcoming Nile Basin Development Forum conference that Uganda is to host for the first time in Munyonyo come October. Dokas Kimono, UBC News.